Hi, everybody, and welcome to Car Science, the show that kicks the revs up to the red line and then figures out how they got there. All right, it's a movie cliche as old as Chuck Norris. The hero fires his pistol at the bad guy's car, right? And boom! Blows up like a dragster throwing a piston. Now, the theory is that if a bullet hits a gas tank, it's going to end up in fireworks. But just how accurate is this Hollywood image? Well, there's only one way to find out. Perhaps science can help. Can you really make a car explode by shooting its gas tank? We're taking one car with one gas tank and putting it out in the desert. The goal? To see if we can blow this car like in the movies. So we need just one more thing. A girl with a gun. Liz Keller is a crack shot. She's a 36, 32, 36, and can handle anything from a 22 to a 50 cal hollow tip. And first up, she'll be blasting with a lead spring legend, the 357 Magnum. According to Hollywood, this bad boy should send the car sky high. So whip out that hand cannon, honey. Ready? Aim, fire! And nothing happened. The 357 Magnum, it'll penetrate soft targets, like people, but when it hits hard metal, it won't penetrate reliably. This car's gas tank is made of 16-gauge galvanized steel, and it's also surrounded by a lot of other metal, which helps protect it from collisions. Or a shower of bullets. So the 357 can't penetrate deep enough. Let's kick it up a notch. This is the M4 semi-automatic assault rifle. It's the standard issue combat weapon for the US infantry. It's firing a 55 grain full metal case conical shaped bullet. It fires it at about 34 to 3600 feet per second. That's three times the speed of sound. This jalopy is about to get sloppy. Ready? Aim! Fire! Aw, oh, still nothing? The bullet is moving extremely fast, but it's a very light bullet. And by the time it gets to the fuel tank, it won't have the inertia necessary to penetrate the metal. So the M4 round just can't penetrate enough to pierce the tank. So it's time to put down the pea shooters and get serious. The Remington 700 Sniper Rifle. Hoorah! It's the preferred choice of snipers and would most assuredly have enough power to penetrate the fuel tank. If this badass bazooka can't blow up the old beater, then Hollywood's got some splaining to do. Ready? Aim! Fire! We've blown a hole in the gas tank, but no explosion! Believe it or not, the liquid in the gasoline will actually put out any spark that occurs from the metal piercing the tank. So penetration is not the issue, it's the ignition that we need. So we need to chamber a round that's even hotter than our trigger girl. It's tracer time, baby. It's got a jacket of phosphorus. The friction of the bullet going down the barrel will actually ignite the phosphorus and it'll burn all the way to the target. So hopefully we have the magic formula. Puddle of gasoline, empty tank full of vapor, and a tracer round fired by a girl in skin-tied leather. 